right, this is Randy at the Gym 365 in Elk River, Minnesota. Uh, today we're going to show a little bit of stuff that we do with the sled. It's a lot like the power bag, except that the sled, it's, most gyms have them. Uh, it's a lot less expensive than a bag. Bags break and they're, uh, they're expensive to buy, expensive to maintain. They make a mess when they break. So we're going to do a lot of the same stuff on the sled and some things that we can't do on the power bag. On the sled we're going to use three different ropes. This will be the thickest one, which we're probably going to use today. This will be the next one down. This is just a nylon rope. And then this is a real thin rope. This is like a clothesline. And each one is a lot more difficult. The smaller they are, the harder they are. So when we do our pulling and stuff, the one thing we don't allow is to wrap them around your hand and pull it. So that's why it will be uh, why we, it's so hard to use one of these because you, you can't, uh, hard to grip. And then we're going to use gloves, of course. These are just baseball gloves that I buy so you don't burn our hands if the rope slips. And then, uh, so besides the rope, we'll be using an oversized handle here for uh, some of the drag. And then we'll get here real quick. And these are talon straps. We use them. Dave and I rotate uh, pieces as we exercise here. And uh, so we're going to start with that. Again, we got could go a lot higher, it could go a lot less with the reps. The one other thing we're going to add today is going to be a wrist roller, and we'll show how to use that. So let's get started. All right, so Dave's going to do the first one, which is a standing pull, hand over hand. And we're going to bring him up to show how he's. And then you'll turn this sled around, bring it back up, bring the rope up. And then we're going to film, I'm bringing it up this way, so. Go ahead. Pretty much the same exercise here, seated row, basically, hand over hand. So this one is a between the leg pull. You're going back as far as you can go. Off as far as you can go, Dave. As far as you can go, and then drag it fast. Nope, both two hands are good. You can use both hands. Boom, explosive. You always want to go back as far as you can on that rope. Go further back on the rope if you can. There you go. I always want to get as far back on that rope, make that as big a stretch on the hamstrings as we can. Let me see if we can get a little different view on this one here. Turn it around, bring it back. And this is kind of a lightweight, but uh, we're going to demo a lot of stuff, so we'll make sure that we have. So. You know, get a good view of how he does this. So, you know, we're nice and far back. Driving with the hips. And that's that one. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to 
side. We're going to just keep our feet as forward as we can. When we stand to the side, our feet on the other side of the work. All right, we're gonna film the same thing, left side. And that's on the left side. That sudden stop was not part of the lift. <laughs> okay, Ryan will be doing the same thing going back. It is a hard, you can't the rest of the stop. Okay. This time we'll maybe try to give Randy a heads up. Too late now, I want to film it without you smacking your head. Okay, one more pull and that's good. All right, good job. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna lay on my stomach, use the bag to support me feet to pull forward. I'm gonna do a hand over hand, pull the sled to me. Okay, we got Dave doing the left side, which he's doing with uh, bruised ribs on that side, so a little bit more painful for him. So, you get a film of that. And we're just going to switch sides here, get him going back up a little bit. Ribs. Of course, he snuck weights on there, so I don't have any weight on there, so that's why it's harder, I think. But all right, so we're gonna film him going up the other direction, left side.
Okay, so Dave's gonna use a double grip using the finger talons. So, the talon strips. I might feel just a little bit of them coming back. finger talons and uh, ropes and an oversized handle. We can also use a D handle. We can also use a straight bar, which we'll demo on a couple exercises. All this stuff is interchangeable, so you can get a lot of variety in your workout. We're going to do the oversized one underhand. Down with one hand, back up with the other. Okay, so I did the underhand, which Dave's gonna show you. If he's gonna walk forward, turn around, that would be underhand. He's gonna do overhand, which looks like that. So he's gonna go down with one hand, back up with the other. So you're gonna go overhand. Nope, I want it. Yep, no, I want it, I want it. Yep. Hold on, Dave, let's switch it. Switch it to to this this way. Yep. But keep your hand forward. Don't keep it sideways. There you go. There's the That's actually a stronger grip doing it with your palm facing down instead of up. For some people, other people it's harder. Mm 
And if the camera gets shaky, it's because we're both getting tired and we're holding the camera, so it's that we're getting shaky. Change it again. Around. Come back the other hand. What we're doing on this is on top of the rest of the body we're working. We're trying to get our grip stronger because we both deadlift and uh, one of the weaknesses we're getting as we get older is our grips are starting to go. It's a lot harder to hang on to the bar. You do a lot more individual finger and hand gripping stuff to make sure that we can keep that strength up. And the talons work real good on that. They're, they're good for keeping your fingers locked tight. That one. One more. Good. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use uh, the handle here. Just a little bit. And just so we kind of pull it like that. So Dave's going to use the double handle, doing the same thing I did with the D handle. He's used a solid piece there. Always pulling as explosive as you can on that up part. Under control with good form. Curl it up higher. Don't pull it to you, curl it up. There you go. A little correction there, but that's kind of how we want to do it. We're always correcting each other. Good. Okay. Okay. We're going to show two different ways of doing this. One is rolling out as far as we can and pulling. 
And the second one is going to be flipping it over, then they will be down one. And we'll allow as far as we get underhand and pull it. We want to use our fingers as much as possible to so use our whole hand in this. So we want to roll it up. Once I get to a certain point where I can't get my fingers too tight on the lower leg, keep that chain nice and tight. These are definitely harder than they look, believe me. <laughs> Okay, so Dave's gonna do it underhand. So he's gonna roll his fingers as far out as he can roll it. And then you pull it in. Roll them out, tight as you make that rope. Tight, tight, tight. Yeah, you actually have to pull the rope. Keep rolling, keep pulling, yep, pull it nice and taut. This might be the hardest one of all the ones we do. So hard on the fingers, it's hard to even move them. Let me get down here a little bit and show him as he tires out and how far he's got to go with the sled yet. That's how slow it comes up. So, get a little away from him here. So. There comes the sled end of view. Tight, tight, tight as you can get it, tight as you can get it, tight as you can get it. Do a couple sets of these, a wrist roller seems like a picnic. Tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. When I get forearm work and finger work, this is much better than the roller with the weight on the end of it. All right, that's our workout for today. So for all you senior citizens who talk about what they can't do and whine and complain, Dave and I are both Social Security receiving seniors, so we're both retired, so it can't be done. <laughs>